week one is almost officially over for football. Today was pretty exciting. I felt like there was a lot of good games. I, I, these reactions aren't going to be as good as they normally are because I, I actually watched and saw most of these games already. But um, I was going to watch this Chiefs and Browns game. I'm not going to talk about it beforehand. I'll talk about it during the game and tell you what I thought about it. Because obviously, I, I have my homeboy has red zone. I did a parlay actually today. So, for those of you who don't know, parlay is like you bet on five or ten, however many teams you want to bet on. For us, we bet on the whole side. And um, so that means that we bet on seven different teams. And when you bet on seven different teams, if you get six and then one of them loses, you don't get the parlay. You have to get every single team. So that's the part about it. Like you could either bet individually or you could end up betting that. But we ended up doing that. I got all the games right. And then I actually had the Broncos beating the Texans and the Texans whopped them. But I didn't think Watson was playing and he didn't play. So I figured that they were going to be bad, but they were actually a lot better than I thought. First, second of all, you see that who dat, who dat nation, my Saints. They just they whooped on those Packers. So week one was super exciting. That is a lot that I want to get into during the video. I'm excited for that um, Raiders Ravens game on Thursday as well. But I mean, let's just watch this, and I'll I'll talk more as we watch it. So Cleveland Cleveland really came out on it, like really on it about it. <laughs> I was so surprised to begin. I was like, yo, this Cleveland team looks legit. Because I mean, they beat the Steelers. Oh, another thing. That Bills Steelers game really surprised me a lot. That wasn't luckily that wasn't in my parlay, but like for a side bet, I had the Bills winning, and I think I picked the over, but it was the under, and um, they were favorites in that game. I was actually really surprised. The thing is with Ben Roethlisberger towards the end of his career, he's kind of like. Drew Brees and Kirk Cousins, like he just does what he has to do. I think the best game today besides this game was probably that Miami Patriots game. And then I also, um, I thought that the, the Bengals Vikings game was really good. And Kirk Cousins had like 320 yards that really sub uh, subscribe, yeah, surprised me. I'm super happy with uh, how we played versus Green Bay as well. I thought that we were incredible versus Green Bay. That we only allowed three points. I actually, my fantasy team is really good, but I had the Browns defense and that was a dumb decision, but I, I had to, there's nobody else. But if you didn't get a chance, go check out that Bengals uh, Vikings game. That shit was lit, lit again. Um, yeah, so Mahomes came out looking kind of whatever. And then, I'm not going to spoil anything, but, like, he busted the game open at the very end. So, I mean, like, I can't sit here and, wa like, say, whoa, nice catch, you know what I mean? Because I already watched the whole game, so I'm just going to talk to you about if you missed anything. Um, as far as, I'm trying to think of what I didn't cover. Oh, yeah, so that, that Sunday night game was kind of disappointing. They let Fields play five snaps so he played five snaps I just don't understand what they're doing as far as that because it's like you want to play the kid they only play him in the red zone and when he does play he's he's so legit like he he had five plays and one of them he ran for a touchdown the two other were passing plays the two other were handoff plays to the running back and it just kind of like kills your confidence when you're going in the game, in and out of the game. And I feel like Dalton is obviously, he's not a Hall of Famer, but he's like a Hall of Very Good. And I feel like Dalton is one of those players that like, oh, he like, he paid his dues, you know what I mean? Like he paid his respect, whatever, because he's like an all-time QB of our generation. Damn. But I mean, like you get, at there's, there's some point where you have to, you gotta cut it. Uh, Wentz was really good today. I feel like that Colts team is gonna be good. Oh yeah, I had the Titans winning as well in a side bet, and they were horrible. I knew the Seattle was gonna come out. I actually had Seattle. That was part of the parlay, so I was happy about that. But uh, 
the rookies so far, Mac Jones was good. Zach Wilson, he's my favorite rookie. He was good. Lawrence played all right in the second half. And then Trey Lance started, and then Garoppolo went crazy. So it looks like Garoppolo is going to have the job for a little bit longer. It looks like they're going to let Dalton play. Because Dalton didn't play horrible, but it was he didn't play good enough to win him a game. The Rams look scary. They really do look scary. I hate to admit it. My Saints look... I don't know how long we can keep... Hey, I'm, I've been telling people this for the longest time. But when you look back at Winston, when he played for the Buccaneers, it was like he would make so many mistakes as far as to, like, turnover and, like, costly mistakes, like bad throws and throws when he didn't need to or when he could have just spiked it or took a penalty by throwing it away. And then you get to play under Drew Brees for a year. You get to play under Sean Pay Payton, who's a, just a like a quarterback's coach you're basically going basically what it is is you're going to quarterback school you know what i mean like you're going to school to be a quarterback and that's so helpful and today he had five five touchdowns mahomes is elite everybody knows that already but like the thing is with winston is he's a starting quarterback on most teams if you besides like obviously like lamar like Mahomes, Josh Allen, those, like, the 10 starters that are obviously going to be starters, like, I feel like Winston or Garoppolo, I'd rather have Winston, like, he's, he's legit, he's a, he's a good player, and I, we just stomped over those Packers, bro, nobody expected that, I'm telling you, nobody expected that, if you would have told me the Packers were going to win, people would have, I told people we were going to win, they, they thought I was crazy, um, Burrow looked really good. Herbert looked really good. Kamara looked really good. Rodgers looked horrible. In the Thursday night game, Brady looked really good. And then as far as the MVPs, I have Dak in there as a sleeper MVP pick. I feel like Winston can sleep in there if we have a good enough record. And then this dude right here, Nick Chubb. Sheesh. That dude can run. Her Derrick Henry was horrible. I was really surprised, actually, by that, that Derrick Henry was so bad. I feel like, you know, you put these running backs in positions to be so successful, but then when the team just doesn't put up points, it doesn't help them out. Like, Derrick Henry can get as many. Oh, yeah, and the Cardinals whooped that ass, too. Obviously, I was talking about that, but... Jeez. So if you look at the Rams division, Rams, Niners, Seahawks, Cardinals. Those those four teams. Yeah, those four teams make up the division. They could all have 10 wins. But see, like, this is what I was talking about earlier. Now, I, I covered all I needed to think. I think I covered it. Oh, yeah, Ra Ravens, Raiders. That was the last thing I was going to talk about. Shit, I don't come in here with no notes. That's, that's how you know I'm knowledgeable. I come in here ready to know what I'm going to talk about. The other day we could talk about baseball and football and basketball. That's just how it is. You know me, but uh, that was fire. Um, I feel like the Chiefs can go back. The one thing that I do feel like is the Chiefs and the Bucks have shown signs of being beatable. I feel like Dak is a potential MVP candidate. He's just that good. Like, he's really that good. He doesn't have many flaws in his game besides the turnovers. And, you know, Baker's really good, too. I used to hate on Baker, but Baker has been playing great lately. And it kind of pisses me off that he's been so good. Because he's a cocky little mug. Yeah, so they got off to an early start. I'm pretty sure Cleveland gets held here. But um, after that, it's just like... And and the thing is with uh, Baker is there. Oh, that was fire. That was so fire. I remember that. Um, anyway... 
they they uh have the best running duo core in the league like kareem hunt is a starter if kareem hunt came to saints i'm not going to be able to start him obviously over kamara but on most teams like i'm in new england like i'm putting kareem hunt there and i'm starting him right away on the chiefs i'm probably going one and two with ed Leeds here later but there's a like with the ravens with all the injuries bro they would love to have a guy like that He's such a downhill bully, like, in the inside. It, the thing is with Nick Chubb, I feel bad for him a lot of the times because he doesn't end up getting the touchdown, but he'll bring him, like, 80 yards down the field, and then Kareem Hunt will, like, jump over the pile or something, and it's like, fuck, like, that touchdown was totally Nick Chubb's. He, he literally brought him all the way down there. It's like when Mahomes throws an 80-yard bomb to Tyree Kill, and then they're on the five-yard line, and then... Uh, Travis Kelsey gets a TD. Like, I'm sure, obviously, they don't care. Like, low-key, they act like they don't care, but, like, they obviously do care. Kelsey was a monster. Tyreek Hill was a monster. Once we get to about the fourth quarter, bro, once we get to about the fourth quarter, it's that's when the shit gets, like, really interesting, this game. This is, like, probably one of the best games so far this week one. That Patriots game was, I mean, that uh, uh, Bucks game was crazy, too. I feel like the Ravens should have kept Ingram, but they sent him to the Texas. Keenan Allen was good today, too. The Browns just have so many mental mistakes like like stuff that just shouldn't happen the Chiefs it's just so hard to beat the Chiefs like they're never out of a football game when me and my homie were watching this shit we were like yo it's over it's over like they it's done they won they lost you know what I mean I, I didn't think that but like the, the other homie doesn't watch football like that, so he doesn't know like how dominant the Chiefs are. It's kind of like the Warriors back in when Curry was there. Mahomes doesn't look scared on the sideline ever. He's just chilling. And Bridgewater was really good today, too, by the way. I'm happy for him. He was good with us. So, But, like, Mahomes never looks f flustered at all. You know what I mean? He's ready to go at all times. He's like, yo. We're down 30. How much time's left? Eight minutes? Oh, that's fine. We can win this game. Like, he's always ready to go. That shit is... It's scary, actually. It's kind of like... It reminds me... Mahomes reminds me of, like, Magic Johnson. Like, Magic Johnson, when he was angry, he would do this. He'd smirk. He'd smile. And the players would know he was angry, and, and the coaches would know he was angry, and the playing staff would know he was angry, but the fans didn't know he was angry, and then he would obliterate him. That's like what I get with Mahomes. Mayfield was legit. I'll give him that. See, like, Chubb got him there, and then Kareem Hunt will just, like, walk it in. I'm pretty sure he jumps over the pile on this one. No, yeah, that was that earlier. He just ran to the outside. If that was me and I'm Nick Chubb, I'm like, you know, I'm I'm back here, right? <laughs> like, can I get one more run? Can I get a touchdown on my thing? My, some fantasy points? I have Judy on my team, but he's on the bench. All right, so this is where it gets crazy. This throw wasn't even a good throw, bro. Like, Mahomes, Ty Tyree Kills, this is disrespectful, too. Tyree Kill is just so different, bro. He just was like, I'm going to just chuck it. I'm going to just throw it up there. Like, don't get high, boy. He was just like, yo, I'm going to just launch this throw right now. And Tyree Kill is going to beat his one-on-one -on -one matchup. That was like in the Rams game. Stafford was, Cooper Cup is a beast, bro. I am about to pick that man up. Him and Stafford together, that's white on white connection right there. Okay, so this is the game right here. 
I don't. They weren't trying to run a fake punt, but like I don't think they are that stupid to run a <coughs> fake punt. But bless you, thank you. But those of you that didn't see, like he uh he ended up going. This is just, okay. Let me explain it. So they scored that touchdown with Tyree Kill, and I was like, oh shit. And then the next play of the drive, Baker took a sack. And then right after that, they got a face mask penalty. And then it was like third and 25. So Mayfield, or second and 25, then Mayfield took like 10 yards off of it. And then um, he ended up like, sorry, I got so distracted. He ended up, they brought the punting squad out, which they had to, obviously. And then um, he dropped the punt, and instead of just kicking it away, the dude tried to run. Like, bro, you are in, you're getting cut tomorrow, dog. You are getting cut. You're getting cut. Okay, now, so the Browns got to stop. Sorry, I was, like, watching the game at the same time. And then uh, they got this first down, and Mayfield choked. Like, he had a chance to get it downfield right now. After this play, he like came out of the pocket and he was looking down right and he slipped the tackle, and then um, he should have just spiked the ball like right there, spike it, and he just threw a bad pick. There's nothing on that besides good defense, and it was Mayfield's fault. Like, but the thing is, like, the Chiefs didn't win this game in my opinion. The Chiefs didn't win this game, in my opinion. I feel like the... I feel like the... Uh, I feel like they lost it. The, the Browns lost it for themselves. You know what I mean? Like, if it wasn't up for that those stupid plays, it would have been over. Um, I'm super excited for football, y'all. I appreciate everybody who tuned in. You already know it's your boy, Young Curd. Appreciate y'all. Like, sub, all that. You know, we out here. We do this every day, every single day with the Misfit T. I love every single one of you. Take care.